friends once again welcome on our youtube channel in our previous lesson we have studied about fermat's principle and the law of reflection by using fermat's principle here we will discuss about law of reflection by fermat's principle now before moving on law of reflection what is fermat's principle according to fermat's principle of extremum path a ray of light in passing from one point to another through a set of media by any number of reflections or refractions selects a path for which the time taken is either minimum or a maximum in between these two there will be no path chosen by the light here m m dash is our reflecting surface mu1 is the reflective index of first medium and mu2 is the reflective index of second medium now here we have a point a a ray of light incident on the reflecting surface m m dash and this light or this ray of light it means the incident ray is our ao ao is reflected by the reflecting surface and the reflected ray is our mb now we draw perpendiculars from point a and b on reflecting surface mm dash and these perpendiculars are represented by am and bm dash respectively let am is equal to a and bm dash is equal to b now n n dash is our normal this normal is drawn on the surface m m dash now i is the angle of incidence angle of incidence is that angle which is made by incident ray with the normal and r is our angle of refraction angle of refraction is that angle which is made by refracted ray with the normal now from geometry m a o will also be i and O B M dash is our R. Let M O is equal to X and M M dash is C. So O M dash will be M M dash minus M O, or O M dash will be C minus X. Now optical path between A and B, since the ray. travel a path ao in first medium and the path ob in second medium so optical path between a and b is l is equal to mu1 into ao plus mu2 into ob now what is ao to find the value of ao we use triangle amo now on applying pythagoras theorem in triangle amo we get ao is equal to root of am square plus mo square or ao is equal to root of a square plus x square similarly from triangle om dash b ob is equal to root of b square plus c minus x whole square so in substituting the value of ao and ob in this equation we get l is equal to mu1 into root of a square plus x square plus mu2 into root of b square plus c minus x whole square now from fermat's principle the position of o is such that the optical path l should be either maximum or minimum and for maximum or minimum first differential should be zero so dl by dx is equal to 
zero. Now L is equal to mu one root of a square plus x square plus mu two into root of b square plus c minus x whole square. And on differentiating this equation with respect to x, we get mu one upon two root a square plus x square into two x plus mu two upon two root b square plus c minus x whole square. 2 into c minus x into minus 1, and first differential should be 0 for maximum or minimum. So this will be equal to 0. Now 2 and 2 will be cancel out. This 2 and 2 will be also cancel out. And since this whole value is negative, so we transfer it in right hand side, and hence we get mu 1 x upon root of A square plus x square is equal to mu two into c minus x upon root of b square plus c minus x whole square. Now this is our diagram. Now in triangle MAO, sine i is equal to O M upon O A, or sin i is equal to x upon root of a square plus x square similarly from triangle o b m dash sin r is equal to o m dash divided by o b or sin r is equal to c minus x upon root of b square plus c minus x whole square So sin i is equal to x upon root of a square plus x square, which we get from triangle MAO, and sin r is equal to c minus x upon root of b square plus c minus x whole square, which we get from triangle OBM dash. Now we substitute x upon root of a square plus x square is equal to sin i and C minus x upon root of b square plus c minus x whole square is equal to sine r, and therefore mu one sine i is equal to mu two sine r, or sine i upon sine r is equal to mu two upon mu one, or mu of second medium with respect to first medium. So this is our Snell's law. According to Snell's law, mu is equal to sine i upon sine r, or mu two upon mu one is equal to sine i upon sine r, and mu two upon mu one is known as refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium. In this way, we get law of refraction by using Fermat's principle. And according to law of refraction, when a light ray refracted from one medium to another then the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to the sin of angle of refraction is always remain constant and is equal to the refractive index of the second medium with respect to first medium and this law is also known as snell's law also if light ray travels from rarer to denser medium then it bends towards the normal and if it travels from denser to rarer medium then it bends away from the normal and last one the incident ray normal to the refractive surface and refracted ray all lie in the same plane so these are our laws of refraction which here we get by using fermat's principle here we end our session so goodbye